Hey there, poor skulls, skulls. My name is Monster, but welcome back to Slime Rancher. This is my slime shirt. This is my slime shirt. It's not a Superman shirt. Go home with your bull crap. Slime Rancher! <laughs> okay, okay. I've uh, spouted off enough uh, random uh, nonsense. So we have actually have a lot of money. What was I doing? There was something I was going to buy that was super expensive. It wasn't the slime key. I don't remember. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, last episode, we did a lot of exploring. We got some things done. Um, we're living the dream. Now, I think one of the big projects that I need to do today is... I need to get... I think, what is it? I need, like, 15 more... Um, I need to craft 15 more machines in order to do uh, Victor's experimental, experimental, experiment. Um, and I figured... Since I'm going to be live streaming this game tomorrow between 6 and 9 central, um, we're going to live the dream. Now, I have automation everywhere. Okay, not everywhere, but I do have automation in this area as well as over here. And I know you can do, um, I know you can do automation. You can do, I think it's two automation per zone in these areas. Oh my gosh, they're grown already. Holy moly, I love it so much. Anyways, it's just, it's a good time. Look at this guy. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so today's mission. There was, uh, there's some upgrades in here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, well, I'm going to buy them. So it's 7Z Rewards Club. Now, I forgot. I think you might have to do a lot of exchanges to get those done. But we have a fence upgrade. We have a path upgrade. Porch upgrade. We have chroma station upgrade. Arc upgrade. Firecrack Chromus Slime Toy Shop. Oh my Lanta, what do we got here? Advanced Slime Toys. Okay, so we need a lot of money to do all this, but Market Link. Oh, yes, I want that. I want that. I want that. Because what we can do is in the other area, once we've built everything that we need to to get all the automation and stuff taken care of, we can put a Market Link in there and then we can automate that a drone to go around and pick everything up and ship it back to the marketplace for me. Star Mail. Coma packs. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for the change. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Look at it. Just look at it. I should have showed you this one at a time, but oh my gosh. Slime toy shop. We can buy toys now instead of having to find them anywhere. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. This is unreal. Look at the paths and everything. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh yeah, and then we got a chroma pack over here, don't we? What color do we want? We could go ruby. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, so today's episode, we are going to first see what we have in there and what we need to craft. I'm thinking... Apiaries is what I've been trying to craft as much as possible. One, because I can place them here. And two, because, well, frankly, they uh, they give us the option to do the things, okay? So let's see. Yes. So we need a bunch of pinky plorts. Okay. So I don't think the automation of the pink plorts is going to go fast enough for us to do what we need to do. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I don't have to do hardly anything. All I got to do is run around. So I think what I'm going to do here... I have a bunch of apiaries, or not apiaries, I think it's forest dibbles, or drills, I think. I'm going to take, so I have one of these guys, I'm going to take one drill, and I'm going to go ahead and head to the um, overgrown like mossy forest or mossy blanket or whatever it's called area, um, after I feed everything here, and so that I can kind of gather all those and get those squared away and see kind of what we need to do. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut. That way you guys don't have to set through just a bunch of incoherent babbling. And I will see you guys once we get to the new location. Oh, we've made so much progress off camera. I should, I take that back. I take that back. We're not going to jump cut quite yet. So I've upgraded every single plant area imaginable. Okay. And my goal was to get to the point where we produced more food than we could possibly use because then I could start doubling up on things like these guys. Yes. Oh, gosh. We're making so much great progress. This makes me happy. All right. Give me the improve. Give me the improve. 
All right. Look at how much food we produce. This is just amazing to me. Uh, I love it so much. Then we have, uh, we're using the carrots to feed these guys because it's amazing. I'm gonna click this. Yes, oh, we're making so much money. Yes. All right, so it's so, I make money so quickly in this game now, it's unreal. I forgot who I was feeding the uh, extra pickled pears to. Do you like fruit? Nope, you're not fruit, you're a veggie guy. Who is it, was it somebody over here? Oh, I think I know who I was giving it to. Well, first let's get rid of this because I don't want to travel back and forth like a hundred times, but look at us go. We were just down to almost nothing and now we're back to like 2,500. Like that's so quick. That's unbelievably quick. All right, give me the amount of onions, okay? And I have all the upgrades and stuff, and I'll, and we um, went into, what is it, or I don't remember. I'll show you guys, and then I'll explain what I was going to talk about when we get there. Um, but I've got an upgrade from accomplishing a bunch of stuff in the wilds area that we went to the first time. And it, what it does is as long as you purchase this upgrade, anywhere where you have plants, as long as they stay in that field, they never rot. So I can go away for like a long, long time without having to worry about it because I'll just keep building and building and building. So we never lose the production of fruit. Oh, I forgot I had a slime paint. We never lose the production of food no matter how long I dump. Okay, uh, carrots should have gone in the other area. Yeah, we were doing pogo fruit for these guys. So, oh, that's what we were doing, the pickled pear for these boys. Okay. Yeah, we were gonna start doing the pickled pear there. And then these guys, I think, were fruit as well. What was I doing for these? I don't know. Let's we'll let him keep doing his thing. I had to move them over there because you guys, if you guys couldn't tell, I don't remember if I explained this, but they're big. They absorbed the honey poo poos. <laughs> and that's not good. That is literally not good at all, okay? And the reason I say that's not good is because if they eat a bunch of, like, if any Largo slime like that eats any plort that isn't its own, they become the stupid tar slimes. And then we have to basically start all the way over, okay? I don't need that in my life. I really don't need that in my life at all. All right, so we got the things done. Um, what we're gonna do here is first and foremost, I'm gonna go back to the wilds because that's one of the things that I want to make the most progress in the quickest um, while we're waiting for our money um, to kind of do the things. And we have a little, we have a little money exchange that we can get anyways. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, so we're gonna go in here. Oh, what an intro, right? That we we're like eight minutes in, and I feel like I haven't done anything. We're trying to gather as many of these little wild fruit as possible because I think it gives us upgrades or the access to here. I don't know exactly which, but the only thing that kind of sucks about this to make that level of progress is we have to go back through like so many times. Yeah, and I'm kind of here at night time, but basically we just they're always random. We just got to find their little uh, kawaka fruit and. Uh, collect a bunch of them my wife might be home because my doggy is barking what a feisty little thing she is huh and I also figured out I don't remember if I showed you guys this but uh it wasn't plorts you th throw those things in there and it breaks it out so you can get more of the cockawa caco flu isn't that amazing is that not amazing is that not the most amazing broken where are you no give me the Quacky walkie fruit. We're gonna keep calling it something different every time. <laughs> but I leave my door open, and I forgot that if my dog and if I'm just the only one here but with my dog, she gets really feisty and really loud if she hears noise. She's trying to protect my honor. Oh, what a beautiful puppy. All right. So my goal every single time I do this is to try to get as close to 50 as possible. Because then I go back with a full load. Get out of here, dude. I got time for your crap to Genos. Crap to Genos! Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Like, exactly what I was looking for. Okay. We're doing good so far. I don't know if I want to quite go that way yet, because there's usually some more in this cave up here. We'll go back this way as well. 
There's a couple spots where you, there's always something. And if you, as soon as you pass it up, you know they're going to give you just a ton of the quico qua 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 fruit. And for money reasons, we're going to do this. Collect the poopy of the slimes. You know, like, there's nothing less romantic than, hey, babe, what do you do for work? I collect poop. It's always been my dream to collect poop. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love my poop collecting job. It's a blasty blast. Okay, I don't got time for your crap. <laughs> Slaps. <laughs> Quika quaka. Okay, for... No! You suck! Oh, I can't believe they ate my fruit! What a turd. What a absolute turdarini. Turdarini Alfredo. Okay, that's not how it goes, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> I can't believe it! I hate it! Okay, I don't... It's, it's the little things, okay? Uh, I don't want that. I only want the uh, saber and hunter floor because I really I have everything else at the base So it wouldn't really make sense for me to collect everything because it's not gonna be quite as valuable um, And the hunter plort is I think slightly more valuable than the boom boom plort. So it's a slightly better um, Slightly better option wasn't there a dibbly dobbler here I could have swore I saw a dibbly dobbler. Oh, don't tell me it got knocked down. That would be lame as turds. Hello? Well, bummer. There was one of those like little round balls that has a bunch of the kwi -ku -kwa -kwa fruits in them. And uh, yeah, I didn't, it's gone. I should have just went and got it right away. I know better. I know better than this. No. Give me the fruit. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go back right now. 33 is a pretty decent amount. We're gonna check this last little nook. And a nothing. All right, so 33 is a decent amount in one run. Obviously, you wanna get as close to 50 as possible, but yeah. And just like last time, you shovel all these bad boys in there and they give you, that's right, spicy tofu, which I gotta figure out what those are used for. Hello, wife. Hi. Say hello to my wife, everyone. Hi. So we need like 90 more of these things, okay? So we're gonna have to make, what, three more trips, three more full trips in there. Um, but we do get some production and stuff taken care of over there, so I guess that is kind of nice. I wonder if tofu is something that anybody eats. It'd be nice if any slime eats it. As you guys can tell, we got about 100 of those bad boys, so we're living the dream. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do I need to give this guy water? No? Here. Water! Yay, water! Okay, we're gonna go give the other one water as well. So ever I don't know the time frame, but you do have to give these guys water every so often. Oh, yes. What a good game. I love this game so much. Alright. Refilled with waters. Golden. Alright, so now that I've kind of got everything established, and what we're gonna do is go through the wilds a few more times, um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut and get things squared away from there and we will see you guys once we finish the uh, the wilds portion of things oh look at the upgrades I love it all right we'll be back mm. all right so jump cut aside I almost forgot about these guys um, let's do this thing all right show me what you yes all right what no I have to I have to as much as I want the pink ports royal jelly is something that I legitimately need. All right, so we got a bunch of these apiaries, right? Yeah. Let's do this. So apiaries are the ones that give you all the fancy things. And I put a couple over here, because I ran out of space. Now, where did I put them? That's the real question. Just here. All right, gold. Hey, boxes. Cool. All right, so basically with my apiaries, all I've been doing is getting as much of the wild honey, the honey cones and stuff that I can get because that's what's used to create those little automated um, little bees. Perfect. And I only have a couple because I am in desperate need of some uh, pinky plorts. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Where, is, where are we at? Where are we at, friends? Let's do this. Oh, I did a drill as well. Ah, oh well. Drills probably don't hurt. Get out of my face hole. Golden. Sweet. All right, cool. So now we have a drill going and an apiary going. They they do every 12 minutes or so. They they come back through. But that's not what I'm most concerned with in this episode. So now that I kind of showed you guys what we're doing here and how we're farming the materials and whatnot, because this is the only area you can get wild honey in, uh, at least that I'm familiar with. So yeah, now that we did that and I explained what we're doing, I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut until we make a little bit more progress, guys. And I will see you when we get there. Alrighty team, so we made a lot of progress off camera and by a lot I mean we got to a point where I can show the work and the progress that it do with the bear on camera. Nice. Does that mean Yes it does! Oh we did it guys! We did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, okay, so we unlocked this whole area. Now one thing that my wife had a glorious idea for was can you do this? And can you Oh, well, that's a definite no. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was a better idea than what I had. So we can bring slime and stuff over here. First, I want to... What's over in this way? I want to see what this is. It's a toy shop. Okay. I love this game so much. There's just so many little things. All, ooh. All over the place. Give me something fancy. Huh? Honeycomb, honeycomb, honeycomb. Really? Well, Tofu, I can get as many of you as I want. I'm sorry. Goodbye. All right, royal jelly. That's good. I remember I needed royal jelly for something. I just don't remember exactly what. But that's awesome. Now we have a bunch of extra plots. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five plots, six plots. Cool. So th what this means is we could probably transplant and do all the food and stuff over here. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out in a little bit later. Uh, maybe we'll figure that out in the live stream. That'll be something we can do in the live stream. I'm not sure. But what I do want to do is get all these deposited. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into the other area. Um, so I can show you guys one of the other ranchers areas that I have unlocked. I love it so much. Hello, friends. Yes. All right. We do need to throw... What is that? I need uh, eight more. Let me check just to make sure. It's under achievements. You can check how many you've crafted. Yeah, I need eight more things. Okay. Okay, so we got one. All right, so I need seven more things to fabricate. I am gonna go back to the, um, back to the mossy forest, and I'm gonna collect all that stuff, and then we'll come back here, and I will show you guys the next area that I kind of want to uh, unlock and get squared away. All right, jumping cut in three, two, bleh. All right, friends and famarinos. So we did a jump cut right there. You guys saw it. It was a big jump cut. Now, we're going to go into the new area. So in the cave, once you've traded with a certain individual, I forgot their name, you come into the cave and you get this fancy little area. Now, the cool thing about this area is, first and foremost, your equipment changes based on the region. But um, this is just like the other area where you had to farm like those kakawakaku fruits, the kwi kwakwa fruits. Um, you gotta get like silver plorts and things like that and then you get experience and monies and things like that so that you can make the dreams happen. So we're gonna show you how this one works. I think this is the right area. Is this the right area? Or is this the right area? I think it's this one. Yeah, this is one. So what you do is you activate this and then basically you just you chase the things. It's great, it's a good time. It's an amazing time. All right. So you get the spark shot here. We're gonna run through here. These guys, where are they? Yeah. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hello, friends. Come. Okay, and this is actually a race, so you're not supposed to face backwards and do it, but you know what? I'm living the dream. All right. Boop. Give me the spark shots. And basically, you just shoot as many of them as possible, because anytime you shoot them, you get the, uh, you get the beautiful plorts. Uh, come to daddy. Come to daddy, plorts. I'm a pro collector. All right, and the nice thing about this one is, whereas the other one was giving you tofu, which I still haven't figured out what to use it for, honestly, this one, you get a butt ton of mun muns. All right, and if I were good at aiming, I would have uh, be a lot farther in this thing. Oh boy, I almost didn't make that one. Nice, nice. 
Okay, so this is kind of like a nice, it's like a fun little break from like what you've been doing like the whole entirety of the game. So it's, it's kind of nice, you know? It's just, it's nice. I'm just gonna say it's nice. What is this? Ooh. Oh, is it like a bubble that slows things down that I just wasted? Probably. <laughs> Knowing my glorious skills in combat. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right, and they get those little speed boosts as well. Man, I gotta remember how all this works because I'm so distracted. I'm so distracted. I'm so easily distracted in this game. There's so much to look at though. Like, which way do I go? Who do I look at? What am I supposed to focus on? How? Ow. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna win this race, okay? If I win this race, I mean I'm gonna do my bestest to get as many of these ports as possible. How long do we have left? Oh yeah, 36 seconds. It shows on the top of my gun. All right. And I think those little blue things were like extra time, if I remember correctly, which I'm not overly concerned with, honestly. My goal here is to just to make the things happen. Shoot him. Okay, you know what? Whatever, we're going this way. Hello, friends. Thank you. Hello. We'll see if this is actually extra time. Yeah, it's extra time. It's 30 seconds extra time. That's actually a pretty decent amount of time. Oh. Yeah, shoot a ball! All right, so we should be able to get a decent little amount of things. I don't know what's up there. Is it worth going up, though? That's the real question. All right, let's get this. Thank you. Oh, you take, I forgot you take damage when you run into these things, because they're like lightning charge. Yeah. Oh, shoot them all, get them all, get them all. At this point, it's just like, as soon as my gun starts turning red, I just start spam clicking. Hello, friends! Uh, yeah! Yeah! All right, now we go back. Yay, we did it. Cool beans. So we got 49 that time, which is a pretty decent little run. Um, I'm also two machines away from finishing what I need to craft in order to unlock Victor's experimental experiment of experiments. So it's a good time. And I think what I'll do is I will leave unlocking that. Ooh, so close. What, I need 60? So close. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut one last time for you guys. We're gonna get the ports we need to unlock this. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the Victor's Experimental Update. We're both gonna unlock it and uh, participate in it during the live stream tomorrow at six. So be there or be square. And I will jump cut as soon as I go through this portal. Say hi to the wife in the background. Hi, wife. Ugh. And I am wearing my name's Slime King. Slime King, they call me. Okay, anyways, so we got enough to get through this one. What do we need here? Perfect, look at us go. We got a friend. Wait. Oh. Well, heck and heck, I didn't think you'd do it because you're dumb. Now, do the thing. All right, cool. All right, don't care, don't care. Oh my gosh, 450 and we get to unlock something, I don't know, but we got a bunch of ports right now. I mean, we're doing good. We got 100 in the last run. So, I mean, that's just like, that's gonna be like, uh, like four runs, okay? We got, we can do that, four more runs. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, we made so much progress. Now we're gonna go back here. We're gonna live the dream. We're gonna go back to the main area. Look at it. Oh yes, we gotta purchase those 7Z corporation upgrades. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks, it's so pretty! Look at all the lights! I might have to go back to the uh, special place and do the lights. Market link, grotto upgrade. <gasps> Decorizer. Oh! <laughs> how many ranks are there in this? This is amazing! Look at this, I'm gonna go to the grotto because we just got an upgrade for it, so it's gotta look amazing, right? Come on now. Come on now. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my gosh, yes! This looks so cool! Oh, it's the little things, man. It's the little things. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and we got a bunch of stuff to unlock over here too. Oh my goodness, I'm stoked. This looks so dang cool. I'm so excited to get more money to do, to do more upgrades. Oh! What amazing, how amazing is this? Did we just unlock it here? No? Oh, we did, market link, refinery link. Sweet, we got both of them. 
that's amazing. We actually have enough for the market link too. So we could put that in like the second area or something and automate it. Oh, guys, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I know this was a little bit all over the place, but I love you guys. Remember, liking, commenting, subscribing are great tools for you to get in touch with me. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, and what you want to see next. Without further ado, I'm going to show my foot. Okay, cool. I love you guys, and we will see you next time. Toodly doodly.